Well, it's the intensity as well. It's what you see right now. Come on, you feel that chip that he has on his shoulder. Inside the auto, this man's great. He's a lot of fuck me down. He's going to see that I do things differently, like a normal person. Speaking of wrestling, that man's Olympic level wrestling coach, one of the best in the biz, take down defense. Because if he can keep his fight competitive fight, we saw last time against Nazra, confident striker, he's fast, he's powerful. He doesn't whine things. When he's firing shots, there ain't no snot on the end of him. There's a lot of power. to kind of be there even better. So Bobby Green is in the octagon with his pants. He's going to have to hold up. He's going to have to use his movement. He's going to change underneath. But if he can bait in Islam into even stronger. said this week, I'm just trying to stay true to myself. His main event spotlight at the UFC Apex. It's one thing to be tabbed as the next great fighter. It's another thing to follow through and deliver on those promises. We'll be with a lightweight championship on the line as Justin Gage. Islam Makachev has been winning Paul for a long time. None more impressive than when he got Dan Hooker out of there in his last outing. He didn't do that in the first round. He wants to get down to business for that belt in the shadow of Habib. See, that is what they've been training for. That has been the plan. Go out there after Habib is gone and take it. Go out there and get yet another submit. He will be fighting for the belt next, 100%. Entire division unnoticed. Now, whoever confidently said, I said it earlier tonight, I believe I will start training with Khabib with his father from the results are there and he expects to beat Nurmagomedov. It's a story that's well known. It's making Islam Makachev the champion one day. Here, right now. Here's your tail of the tape for our main event. It's a catch weight at 160 pounds. The reach happens. Here's Bruce Buck. Lady Bet of the evening. Jeff Mullen, our three judges scoring this con. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon. And now, watching around the world, this is live from the UFC Apex. It is e five rounds at a UFC fighting out of the blue corner. A big martial one draw. He stands. Five feet ten inches tall. Fighting out of Fontana, California. Ah! And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. A combat sambo fighter. Holding a professional record. 21 wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall. Weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Makachka, Russia. Present All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to keep it clean. Touch gloves and let's do it. No touch. The confidence of Bobby Green does not look like somebody who's one of the dogs in a UFC main event. At around plus 500. Meanwhile, Islam Makachev perhaps more confident Ready. in his own ability Ready. to get a Ready. UFC belt than anybody else, and that's saying something. This fight clock is brought to you by Botello. Islam coming out with a big head kick. I was gonna say, there's the difference. Islam isn't just a wrestler. He's a well-rounded fighter, for sure. You know, Bobby Green was talking this week, he takes a lot of confidence from the fact that he was able to beat Jacob Boltman. Of course, that was his UFC debut way back in 2013. But he said, Volkman was one of the best wrestlers that I ever fought, and I took care of him. So if I could take care of him, I could take care of Islam. I don't know if I necessarily yeah. agree with that, but still, I like the confidence. Yes, sir. A lot of fan support out there on the side of Bobby Green for the body of work. And now his 43rd fight that comes two weeks after he opened the pay-per-view against Nazrat Hackbrest in Houston a couple of weeks ago. And we've said a lot about what's next for Islam Makachev if he were to get a victory. For Bobby Green, all of a sudden, he's in the top five, you would think, after pulling off a victory, or certainly top ten and right in the mix. See, the thing is, Bobby's last fight against Nazrat, he could let the hands go in these kind of positions. Right. Because there was not really a threat of the takedown. Right now, he's going to be very strategic as to when he lets the hands go. Because not only will Islam shoot, it is the speed of the shot. Yeah. Look at how he took down Dan Hooker. There we go. Makachev now attacking. Hey, control the wrist. There you go. 
up. Leg up. If you need to, repuzzle. Control the wrist. Good. Control the wrist. Okay. Looking for a trip. We'll try for the foot sweep. Green That's the thing to test to keep the feet early. So far, but Islam will yeah. be relentless. Oh. And he is relentless. Locked. And he's got... Hands are locked. Yeah. Look at that. Well, green went guillotine, which means he's going one. down. Let's see how he tries to escape now. Makacha suffocating on top. He's very close to mounting him here. And this is a terrible position now for Bobby. I mean, Islam is smothering on top. He gives no space to breathe. Heavy downward pressure. Feels like a lead blanket on top of you. And now, of course, he's going to get a position and just rain down with blows to set up a submission. Bobby Green trying to sneak out underneath here. He's got to be careful. Halfway through the first round, this long he wants is probably just going to push that leg down. Yep. Sorry, Brent. Oh, you're right. See, because Bobby needs to be on his left shoulder when he's on that side of half guard, not on, not flat on his back or on his right shoulder. Oh, watch the Kimura, just like he got Dan Hooker. Full mount. It's 10 straight wins. It's another finish in the first round. No surprise, right? I mean, we all expected that this is how this fight